here. Um, so this is going to be my very first reading vlog. I'm not really sure I know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna have fun and just go with it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be making the kind of reading vlog where I film myself reading because I sit in awkward positions and I'm a bit self-conscious about that and I personally don't like watching those videos. I'm gonna go with the style of um, Hayley and Bookland's most recent vlogs where she just kind of checks in every day and says what she's reading and what's going on. Prepare for lighting changes because I'm going to be filming at random points during the day. I wanted to start this one by going over where I'm at with my reading at the moment. The audiobook I'm listening to at the moment is Air of Fire by Sarah J Maas. This is a reread because there was a big gap between Kingdom of Ash, which is the final Throne of Glass book, and the book that came before that and I've forgotten everything. So I'm rereading using the audiobooks, hopefully to get me back into it. Although I'm finding I'm not really enjoying them on reread. Um, I'm nearly finished, sorry I'm gonna change my hat because this camera's really heavy. Um, I'm nearly finished with my reread of Air of Fire. I think I've got about an hour and a half left and I'm underwhelmed. I don't see the romance, I don't get it, but I did the first time somehow. But yeah, I'm powering through. I want to read the last book because I want to finish it. I'm currently reading Wranglestone by Darren Charlton. Um, how far am I? I'm on chapter 7, which is page 78, so not very far, that's about 20% I think. And I'm enjoying it, I think it's good. Uh, I'm intrigued to see where it's going to go. I can see the love interest already and I think it's really cute. <laughs> when I first started reading it, it did make me a little bit panicky because you know, pandemic and zombies during a pandemic. It's gonna make me anxious, but I'm getting over that a little bit now. I think it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. I'm hoping to finish it in the next couple of days. I'll check in various points throughout the week. Oh, I should say this is Monday, by the way. Um, but yeah, I'll check in various points throughout the week, maybe even later today, uh, to keep you updated and keep you um, and to let you know what my thoughts are. Okay, bye. Good morning. It's Tuesday. Spoiler alert, I did not get much reading done yesterday. Spent most of my evening editing my new video, which will probably have come out by the time this vlog goes up. Uh, so I didn't read very much. Where's the book? So I'm still reading Wranglestone. Um, I think I'm on chapter 12, about 120 ish pages in, just under a third of the book. So yeah, not much progress, but I don't think I'm going to get much reading done today either because uh, my boyfriend's coming for a visit. We're having a takeaway and we're going to sit in the garden two meters apart with him, me and my family and my boyfriend. Um, so yeah, I'm not expecting to get much reading done today, maybe in the evening, who knows. But yeah, it would be nice if I could finish Wranglestone today because I am so behind on my TBR at the moment. I've listened to a little bit more of Air of Fire and it's getting a bit more interesting, but I won't give any spoilers. Um, I'm really looking forward to finishing it, to be honest with you. I just kind of want to get to Kingdom of Ash, finish this series. I've always enjoyed Throne of Glass, I do like it, but A Court of Thorns and Roses, that series, that's my favourite. Like, I much prefer that to Throne of Glass, I always have. That was the series that got me into Sarah J Maas. I'll check in later, let you know how I'm going. Happy reading? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Hi, yeah, it's still Tuesday, it's currently about 10 to 11. I have read a little bit so far of Wranglestone. Let me just check my progress. I'm on page 158, I think it's around chapter 14, 15-ish, I think. So I've read a little bit, but um, yeah, my boyfriend came for a socially distance visit today to have dinner in the garden with me and my parents. Um, and he stayed for a bit and we managed to get my laptop out there in between us so we could watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine while we were distance and that was really fun. So yeah, that was a bit of a distraction. Currently I am editing a video which will have gone up by the time this vlog goes up. Um, it is my booktube newbie tag which was really fun. Um, and in exciting news, my tripod has arrived today. So um, I got the National Geographic tripod. It is... I don't know. It said it was medium and the height was taller than me, so I thought that was good. So that should be good for filming, so I don't have to balance it on a stack of books. If I still have the picture of my previous filming setup, I will insert it here. Rip the stack of books I used to use as a tripod. And uh, yeah, I can use this 
um, tripod for taking photos as well. So that's going to be really fun. My plan to finish Ringlestone has not not come through today, but I'm hoping to read a few more chapters before bed. Then hopefully I will finish it tomorrow so I can move on to my next book. I'm trying to think, I think I think my next book is Priory of the Orange Tree, but I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Make me a day have changed their rules anyway, so you can read them in any order. But I'm going to try and stick to my order so that I get through all the books because Priory is a beast. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really enjoying Ringlestone so far. I've got to some of the heart wrenching stuff and also some of the cute stuff. I'm really intrigued. Um, I really want to know where it's going. I'm really motivated to read it, which is nice. That's a lot different from um, what I was reading before. Uh, so yeah, probably will update you tomorrow. Uh, perhaps in the morning about how far I've got and uh, what my plans are for the day. Hey yeah, it is Wednesday and it is currently about 2.30. Uh, I didn't update this morning because I was busy finishing Wranglestone by Darren Charlton because it, it just got to that point where I just was like nope I'm going to stay in bed all morning and finish this because it was amazing, it's so good. If you haven't checked it out, I would highly recommend it. Uh, the author has said that the sequel, which is also going to be the conclusion, will be coming out in May 2021, but don't wait to read the first book until then. It is actually amazing. Like, I immediately messaged my boyfriend saying, you have to read this book next. It is really good. It's gay and it's got zombies, um, but lots of plot twists. It's definitely a thriller, so be careful reading it at night, I guess, because it did freak me out at night time. I'm so happy I read that. I bought it secondhand because I wasn't sure I was going to like it because it's a zombie thriller, um, but I did. I loved it. It's so good. Now I'm late to work because I was busy finishing that, and then I did Space Mons. The next book I'm picking up is actually Girls of Paper and Fire for Make Your Myth Taker Readathon. The prompt was to read a book with a dark cover, so I'm reading Girls of Paper and Fire and I'm really excited to get to that because I've heard really mixed things. I have owned it since I got the Fairy Loot edition when I was a subscriber and I'm really excited to read it because it's been on my TBR for ages. I might check in later if I remember, but I'm getting quite bad at remembering. I'm gonna get to work now and I will update you later. Hiya, uh, it is now 9pm I think and uh, I haven't done any more reading yet but I have uploaded a new video. This is the, th th that's the end screen because I was just scrolling through to check that it had worked but yeah every time I upload a video I get this little surge of panic that I've forgotten to edit something out that shouldn't be in there or something even though I do at least two run throughs and I make my boyfriend watch it before it goes onto YouTube so I know it's fine. <laughs> but it always makes me worried but yeah i'm really excited it's my second video has gone up it's mine but you've knew me tag uh, hopefully by the time you're watching this you've already watched that and you know what i've said but yeah tomorrow i'm going to be filming my announcement video for pixarathon the readathon i'm hosting i mean you've probably already seen that by the time this goes up too so i think for the next hour or so i'm going to be planning that because the plan is that um in the announcement video i'm going to be recommending books from diverse authors. Yeah, I'm already planning my own DBR, even though I haven't announced the prompts to anyone else. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Tonight is gonna be a battle of going on Goodreads to try and find books that will fit my prompts, desperately messaging my friends. Um, hopefully I'll read some more tonight. I should be starting Girls of Paper and Fire, but uh, who knows? I'll update you later, bye. Okay, so it has now just gone 10pm, I think, uh, and I've finished my list of recommendations for the Pixarathon announcement video, which I'm really excited about. I've managed to come up with at least one diverse book for every single prompt. Um, there's one that's kind of like, the cast is diverse but the author isn't, but I'm hoping that's okay because I genuinely could not think of any that I had already read, which is really sad, but... I'm gonna have a great opportunity to discover a new book. So yeah, it was really fun. I got to stare aimlessly <laughs> at my bookshelf trying to find books that would fit the prompts, but it was really fun to figure them out. So now I just need to <laughs> make my bed because I washed my bedding today and now it's empty and naked. Uh, but once I've done that, I'm gonna get into bed and I'm probably gonna read. 
Good morning, it is Thursday and is it still morning? It is, it's still morning by five minutes, it's five to twelve. Um, I have a really busy morning, um, I had a Skype call and stuff like that so um, I didn't check in this morning, sorry. Um, it's a really busy day for me today, I have got to go do the family grocery shop at Tesco. Uh, what else have I got to do today? Oh, I've got to film my announcement video for the Pixarathon. I've also got some actual like work to do for my workplace. <laughs> so I don't think today's going to be a huge reading day. I did start uh, Girls of Paper and Fire last night, by which I mean I read the prologue. <laughs> I ended up staying really late working on Pixar Pixarathon, so not much reading got done. But oh well, I did spend all of yesterday morning reading, <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, I've also let my hair dry naturally today and I'm debating whether I should have natural curls or not in my Pixarathon announcement video. I think I'm going to see, they're not quite dry at the back yet, so I'm going to see how much they dry and how they dry and if I can do anything nice with them because this side is not as nice as this side. So we'll see. Otherwise I will have to brush it out and curl it manually <laughs> which is always fun but yeah natural curls maybe for the win who knows uh yeah that's it i think i will update you later i'm going to be using my tripod for the first time to fill pixarathon um after my booktube newbie tag i found that i couldn't stand still when i was filming so i think i'm going to stick with sitting down also will help because then i can have things on the desk while i pick up and put down yeah so that's my day Okay, so I didn't make my bed last night because I'm lazy. That, that's it, I'm lazy. <laughs> I slept under the uh, naked duvet instead. So uh, that's gonna be my first job of the day. I would ordinarily be watching something on Netflix while I do this, but my Amazon Fire TV stick is broken at the moment, waiting for it to be replaced. So I'm probably gonna listen to an audiobook. At the moment I'm on Crown of Midnight. <laughs> Book, book four of the um, Throne of Glass series, which of one that is, I think is Crown of Midnight. Uh, so I'm gonna be listening to that. Okay, so it's now about 12-ish, I think. Um, natural curls are here to stay. I've managed to pin back these bits and it's made it look a lot more tame and less frizzy, so that's good. They're gonna be in for the video. I've made my bed. Um, also, I have noticed my little plant baby is growing something. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to show it a bit more clearly. Is it a new growth? Is it a flower? Guess who just filmed their announcement video for Pixarathon? So it is, what time is it? It is 20 past six on Thursday. I've just finished filming the Pixarathon announcement. I think I've covered all my bases. I really hope I have. I am gonna go and watch some other announcement videos just to check that I've covered it. Oh no, I forgot to mention the document that I made. Guess I'm gonna go back and do that. Okay, back to vlogging after I've done that. <laughs> okay, now I think I have actually finished it. <laughs> I remember the document this time. I haven't printed it out, which I was going to so I could hold it up, but I think actually having the digital version is better because you can actually see that properly so i'm getting weird reflections off everything at the moment but yeah i am so excited um i haven't done any um reading today no surprise really i mean i did listen to oh it's actually i think it's is it queen of shadows let me check yeah it's queen of shadows that i've been listening to not crown of midnight i just <laughs> I don't know what order the Throne of Glass books are in, don't hate me. So yeah, I have listened to a little bit of Queen of Shadows today while I was grocery shopping for my family, but not loads. Um, basically not much reading has happened today. So tonight I'm going to probably spend quite a bit of time editing this announcement video because it is so long. But first, um, <laughs> I'm going to make myself some tacos because it's half past six and my tacos have literally been cooking for four hours and I'm so hungry and it smells so good. So yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get my tacos and then once I've, once I've had some comfort food and some joy, I'm then gonna come back and edit. And hopefully the announcement video will be done today so it can go up tomorrow, fingers crossed. <laughs> Pray for me. Well, 
you are not seeing this till afterwards, but you know. Still pray for me, I need help. <laughs> okay, it is about 10 past eight and my tacos are finally ready. Uh, I'm really excited. I wanna show you this because I'm more really proud. Um, I make the tacos, which is the, like, the pork mix that goes in it myself and the guacamole and some refried beans. So yeah, let's show you. So we got the yummy, yummy pork that takes four hours, refried beans, guacamole, salsa I didn't make, cheese I didn't make, wraps I didn't make. But yeah, this is my absolute favorite meal, so I think it's the perfect reward. Good morning, it is now Friday. Um, as predicted last night, I didn't really get any reading done. I actually started feeling quite sick in the evening, so I didn't get to edit my video for the announcement either. So that's gonna be tonight's job. Um, so today I've got quite a busy day, I've got a lot of work to do. I've also got a Skype call with some friends later and I need to edit my video. So yet again, I think reading's gonna fall on the wayside. I honestly, I thought I was gonna get so much more reading done once I finish uni, but I have so many other things to do and you know, Monday my new kitten is coming home and when am I gonna read? <laughs> so yeah I'm hoping I get some reading time tonight but there's also the um, Victoria Schwab and Neil Gaiman uh, talk tonight which is at 10 p.m my time so I'm gonna be watching that later at night so I don't think I'm really gonna get much reading done today but if I do I will check in and let you know. Hiya, yeah. so it is Saturday. Sorry if it's a bit dark because there's literally storm clouds coming over my house right now. Um, it's actually 7pm. Uh, sorry I haven't updated earlier, it is, I've just been so busy. My kitten comes home on Monday so I've been feverishly cleaning everything that's going to be hers because a lot of it is second hand from our cat that died a few months ago or from my sister's kittens who are very picky apparently and won't drink from things and all this sort of stuff. So yeah, I haven't done much reading yet today, but I'm definitely going to get to Girls of Paper and Fire tonight and try and read a few chapters because I really want to get that started. I posted my Pixarathon announcement today, which was really exciting and very scary, but there's already been a lot of enthusiasm for it, which is really, really nice. I'm hoping if you're watching this, you have watched that one too and you are just as excited as I am. While I've been cleaning, I've been watching a lot of booktube today, trying to leave lots of likes and comments and yeah. It's been a good day, very busy, so uh, I'll update you later if I get any reading done. Yeah, it's about half past midnight and um, I've finally done some reading for the first time in days. Um, I've read, I think, three chapters of Girls of Paper and Fire, which is about 30 pages. It's a lot darker than I was expecting. I know people had said that there were scenes of sexual assault, but I wasn't expecting other dark things quite as quickly as it happened but I am very intrigued the writing is very compelling I didn't actually want to stop reading I just knew I should because we're getting up early to walk the dog in the morning so yeah but I'm really glad I finally got to read it properly and I can't wait to read some more good morning it's Sunday we are about to go and take our dog for a walk up the woods so I'm going to take my camera with me so I could do a little bit of filming um, today I've got a lot of cleaning to do before Maggie gets here tomorrow, so hopefully I'll get some reading done by listening to some audiobooks. I just got out of the bath but um, I thought it was best to get myself all ready because tomorrow morning I am going to pick up my kitten and I don't want to have to be stressing about showering or anything like that so I've done my nails and uh, yeah I've had a bath I've made sure everything is ready the only thing that isn't ready is I haven't put the litter in the litter trays yet because I'm gonna do that in the morning because I can guarantee I will forget they're there overnight and step in them or something and get litter everywhere so yeah I'm gonna do that in the morning um so in terms of reading 
I haven't done much today. I've listened to a little bit of Queen of Shadows while I was cleaning up and organising, but not tons because I've honestly just been too busy. It's been a really terrible week to start reading vlogs because I've not read like anything. <laughs> So um, I am hoping to read some more of uh, Girls of Paper and Fire. Uh, those first few chapters I read last night really, really got me into this book and I can't wait to read more. I'm a bit nervous about how dark it was at the start and I'm guessing it's going to stay dark because I know there's warnings of sexual assault and things like that and I haven't got to that part yet. So I'm expecting it to get darker but I'm hoping it still stays at a level that I can tolerate. So I guess I don't have tons to wrap up today. I, oh, oh for, so I guess I don't have tons to wrap up for this week because I really haven't read much, which is kind of sad. I have finished two books this week, which is pretty good, although Air of Fire, I have been listening to that for a long time because I've been sort of listening to that as my main one, but dipping in and out of other ones because honestly, I'm not loving my Throne of Glass reread. I remember absolutely adoring it the first time I read it and like I, borrowed it from my high school library because the school librarian who was a friend of mine recommended it to me and I actually loved it and I tore through all the books in the library, immediately pre-ordered the next one. But this reread, I'm just not, I'm not into it, I'm not enjoying it. But I am finding I really enjoy Manon's update, Manon, Manon, I'm not sure, I can't remember, I am listening to the audiobooks but I can't remember how to pronounce it. But yeah, I'm I'm enjoying The Witches more, which I do think I enjoyed more the first time I read it, because I remember actually finding The Witches far more interesting than the Fae storylines. So I guess, spoiler alert for Queen of Shadows and the Throne of Glass books that came before this, I have got to the part where you start to hear from Dorian's perspective with the collar on, so he is trapped inside, and that's quite interesting. I like that perspective. Honestly, I just, I don't enjoy Aelin's perspective. I'm not, I don't enjoy her story as much. I find Kale kind of becomes a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a twat from this book onwards. I enjoyed him in Air of Fire when he was just friends with Aedian and they were planning the rebellion. I thought he was great then, but I find his attitude just suddenly like he becomes kind of snarky and really negative in this book and I do remember actually falling out of love with Kale completely the first time I read it and when I heard that Tower of Dawn was a spin-off book about Kale I was like nah I mean obviously I read it but I didn't enjoy that book at all that was a terrible decision sorry Sarah J Maas but I just it was I didn't enjoy it at all anyway that's a complete sidetrack but yeah finished Air of Fire, that was okay. If I was going to be rating it again, I probably would have changed it to three star on Goodreads, but I feel like I should keep my original rating because I feel like you should rate, oh, for me personally, I feel like keeping it at the original rating is more true to the book because, you know, people are going to be reading it for the first time and that's why they're, re they're reading your review. So to change it for your reread, I feel like doesn't quite reflect what their experience would be. But yeah, I've also read Wranglestone and oh, new favourite, absolutely loved that. It really freaked me out and really got to me, but I really, really loved it. I've already recommended it to my boyfriend. I'm sort of regretting buying it secondhand at this point because I bought it secondhand because I wasn't sure I was going to like it because it was zombies. And I loved it and it is really, really incredible. Um, I would say if you're not much of a thriller person this would still be good for you because it has a really strong YA feel to it. The romance is cute and it is a strong part of it. I don't know, it's just, it's really good, it's really clever and it has a lot of things that I didn't think of. You know, there's a lot of plot twists that I wasn't expecting. I think that is the benefit of having Peter as the narrator because he is an unreliable narrator. He is young, he was born like I think he was born either like just before the pandemic started or just after so he grew up in this world of the pandemic he does not remember the world before and so he's very naive to a lot of what's going on and he just kind of has to trust what the people around him have told him so that makes it more interesting because at the start you just kind of trust everything Peter tells you or at least I did and then as things start to unravel you start to see that Peter doesn't know what's going on and 
he doesn't know that he is being fooled in many ways so that's really interesting I would really really recommend it if you're looking for a new YA if you're looking for a queer book if you're looking for a thriller something zombies it's it's honestly so good and it's not gory which is something I will say because I'm not a big fan of gore like obviously there is some violence because it's zombies but it's not in a graphic kind of gross you out kind of way it's in a thrillery way which I really enjoy. I'm hoping to read some more of Girls of Paper and Fire tonight that's what I'm going to try and read for the rest of the week but I can't guarantee I'm going to get much reading done because you know there's going to be a kitten in my room from tomorrow. <laughs> that's it for my first ever vlog I guess it's yeah like I said it was a terrible week to start vlogging because I read like nothing I've been so busy and when I've not been busy I've just wanted to sit and watch documentaries and knit so what can I say but I am nearly done with my first ever blanket so I don't know I'm so behind on my Goodreads goal <laughs> why did I change it <sighs> well if you liked this vlog then please like and comment and consider subscribing to my channel I'm gonna try and do more vlogs I'm going to try and make them a bit more dynamic and film more of my like goings on during the week. You know, once I have a kitten there's going to be way more to film. So if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in my vlogs or what you'd like me to talk about, please leave them in the comments below. I really enjoyed filming this more than I expected to. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye!